you are welcome to vcube online resources training today we shall be talking about microsoft office excel and the version of excel we are going to use is uh, version 2016 though if you have previous version especially from 2007 uh, to date you see uh, get whatsoever we are going to discuss here so how do we launch microsoft office excel from here I'm going to start you can pick it from uh, our program I'm using Windows 10 all programs then you locate Microsoft Office Excel I'm having mine here this is Excel 2016 you can as well pick it from your task bar if you're having it there so either ways let me pick it from here Excel 2016 so we have Excel 2016 launched on the system. There are templates from which you can choose from. You have billing uh, statements on blood pressure and the rest of them. But I want to tell you if you really want to go about uh, learning and understanding Microsoft Office Excel, it's better you start with a blank workbook. So I'm going to click on blank workbook now we have our working environment and we are going to take ourselves through the working environment so as we move on we get to understand the working environment better by the passage of each day uh, to start with we have file we'll still talk about file but let us start with the home tab there are a series of tabs you have home tab we have insert page layout formula you have data review and view these are the default tab that you can have you may have other ones as well but by default these are the ones you are going to have and now we have ribbons as well and ribbons are the sub menu of our tabs for home tab we have series of ribbons and here so this is where we have our ribbon this is font uh, ribbon so we have our ribbons and here you can see these are some of the ribbons you have them here and apart from ribbons okay let's go to insert insert also has separate sets of ribbons so as page layout and other tab that we have uh, here okay let's go back to home home tab and for each group of ribbons we have a button here and it is called launch button when you click on it like this okay we have a dialog box coming up under font group so here you have other options that if they are to be embedded here outside here or if they are to be put here it will automatically deface the interface that is why you have there we also have for alignment when you click on alignment the launch group you have here the launch button you have a dialog box coming up as this then for spreadsheets we have rows and color when we are talking about our uh, columns columns is moving from north to south from up to down or down to up and for excel the columns are represented by letters so you can talk of column a column b column c you know coming down uh, in that order all right let's they are coming down like this is the way column is column is coming down and not only that we equally have rows and rows is sideways moving from left to right or from right to left and the rows are represented by figures unlike the column so you can talk of row one coming like this row one okay you talk of row two no this is row four in that order what we're saying in essence is that the column is coming up and down then the uh the rows from left to right or right to left and apart from rows and column in excel we equally have cells and the cells or a cell is an intersection 
of rows and column. Where rows and column meet is referred to as a cell, and every cell has a name. Take for instance, if you want to name a cell, you start with the column header, and next you pronounce the row uh, header. This particular cell I'm pointing to is cell B2. We have it here, cell B2. This is B7. This is what? Okay, we are correct. E2. This is F5. Alright, in that order. That means you can describe uh, your cell. And we have a name box through which you can really know a particular cell where you are. And this is name box here. And this tells us that we are, you know, the cell we are pointing to or where our cursor is now, this particular uh, box is, is cell F5. Let me point to this. This is L7. This C7. You can as well move here. You can name a particular cell or refer to a particular cell from that name box. Say so for instance, I'm going to E5, type E5. Okay, we have our box on E5. So another thing that we have is range. A range or range simply means a group of cells that are close to each other and can be grouped together. Now let us have a range. We are moving from A1 to E5. This is a range. The range is A1 to E5. Then let us have another one. This is A1 to the last place here. This is D9. So that is how you can talk about range. Not only that, we equally have a sheet or worksheet. Our sheet is here. Here you have sheet 1. You can have so many sheets. Sheet 2, sheet 3, as many as you want. So we have sheets. Or you call it uh, a worksheet and collection of worksheets is referred to as workbook and workbook is the old document no wonder you have book one here so for a workbook you have so many uh, sheets you can have a sheet as well anyway but collection of worksheets can be referred to as workbook so the old document is referred to as workbook and how do we move uh, around the cells how do we navigate to move down i'm now on d3 if i want to move down all i need to do is to press enter see it's moving down it's moving down if i want to move up i will press i will hold shift and press enter the cell is moving up we can use tab to move sideways so if you want to move back, you hold shift and press tab. So we see our cursor moving back. I mean, yes, it's moving back. So we can also use arrow keys. This is down arrow, up arrow, left arrow, and right arrow keys. So how do we enter data into Excel? It's very simple. You click on cell that you want to enter data into. Like now, I'm clicking on cell A2. So we want to have a list of learners. That's the heading. You click on another cell. Here, we will have a serial number. Just add name. Right, we have the gender. What else? Just have uh, their age and possibly remarks. What else do we have? Okay. So let's input their names. Let's have Fubong, Fubong, Manuel, Francis. Okay. Alright, 
le sa fo mo ni okay we have them look at the way the old thing uh appears here you have list of learner extended to uh cell b2 whereas what we have the list of learner is actually in cell a2 so how do we now resize the column to resize the column you can now you extend for name of learners come to this place all right this is the heading let's leave heading alone all right we have the gender the gender the manual is male male all right female male and female for the age let's input the age all right 11 you can put it to 10 and 12 years so this is how to input a data into Excel and let us try to uh, move ahead now ordinarily we don't know where uh, the page heads uh, with that let's quickly jump to that you can go to view and now click on page break view so you click your normal back so with this you have a thin line here indicating the end of page one this is the first page when you scroll down you have another one here so and so on we'll still talk about that uh, later okay how do we now correct misspelled words if you want to correct misspelled words two ways you can double click on that particular cell like if i want to change uh, emmanuel to another name or there was a mistake when i was typing emmanuel you can double click one two when you double click then you delete and you retype as appropriate if you don't do that you can click once and go to formula bar to make your correction that is taken if you want to replace misspelled words all you need to do is to click on that particular cell adiola kemi if i want to change this to adiola moses i will click on this since i'm replacing the whole thing just start typing adiola you know moses whereas we had kemi here before let's change it back to adiola moses to adiola kemi rather so now let us format this table formatting is similar to uh your experience in microsoft office world you bold you apply color uh on the line and the rest but before we do that okay let's do that let us bold this and let us apply bold to column header all right that one is done look at this now we can make it better and that is what will take us to merge and center if you want to merge and center you highlight from the beginning of that particular cell to where you want it to end and since we have previewed our page we know where the page ends so we can start dragging right you now go to home tab and under alignment uh, group you have merge and center when you click on it you see what we have we have centralized uh, the header you can also move it up when you click on margin so middle margin that is done now how do we insert rows and column if you want to insert rows you can come I, if i want to insert row here i will click and right click i may right click and when you right click you have insert when you click you have insert and you can input whatsoever is missing you can also insert a uh, column we have inserted row if you want to insert column you click on c click up like this right click click on insert you have your column here and you can add maybe you have omitted position you can simply type your position and drag then put in position you can insert more than one column at a time just highlight right click and click on insert you have one two three 
and the same thing is applicable to our rows if you don't want to do that you use the, if you don't want to use the shortcut you can also when you have highlighted go to home tab click on insert you know sheet row we have it like that that is how to insert rows and how to insert color how do we now add border to this if you preview this everything you know the lines will not appear let us preview you go to this is print all right this is preview because we are using uh 2016 version that is why you have it like this other version you may have print preview as uh, separate now we don't have any line we don't have any border here how do we now input border let us input border you highlight where you want your border to be for now we want it to be like this you go to home tab then under home tab and under font group ribbon you have a button here which is talking about border we have series of them but for us we need all borders and we are going to click on all borders let us click right we have it we have everything having border let us centralize this okay we have centralized you can add color to this highlight this is field color you click on maybe i want it to okay. there's let's use this color okay we are good to go all right that is our excel for you okay. we want to talk about some automation in excel how to automate numbers and how to automate uh days of the week and the rest of them we have so many things you can automate in excel anyway uh, now uh, if i want to number this table i can start by typing one two three four five six till the very end but you know that will take eternity assuming i have thousands of numbers or names to number so it will take me a lot of time but with excel you can avoid such a long uh, method how do we go about it you type the order in which you want your number to follow Let's take for instance you have one two and after typing one and two you highlight the two together when you have highlighted there is a pointer here and you wait until your cursor changes to a uh, plus sign you now click on the pointer and you begin to drag can you see you have the numbers coming down up to 15 so that is how it is let me delete this okay if you want to delete you highlight you want to delete rows you can um right click and choose delete you have deleted your rows you can do that for column as well okay now let's have another series you have one three two is omitted computer will know that at every point in time at a regular interval you want to be omitting a particular number now let us try to run this you see the way it is one five three seven and so on let's start from two four good so that is the way it is it's not only number let us have days of the week you have monday monday tuesday okay. let us highlight and you run sideways you see it will keep on working like that you have monday tuesday wednesday let's run it down tuesday you highlight the two so that's very interesting okay let's go to uh, our sheets how do we format or how do we interact with our sheet here you have sheet one this is sheet two sheet three if you want more sheet you can click on this plus button you have sheet four if you don't want any sheet again you can right click 
and delete your sheet. Here we want to rename our sheet to uh, suit the work that we're having there. You can double click on the sheet and you type names of learners. Okay. If you don't want to right click, you can, I mean, if you don't want to double click, you can right click, right click and choose rename. Name of a list of books, list of books. We have, let's go back. Can I, to copy a sheet, what you need to do is click on that sheet, hold control button, now drag the sheets okay what do we have names of Lena we have names of Lena 2 so you can now double click and change the name to list of vendors 